This is Jack from No Code MVA. Now I am on the card website and that's what we're going to use today to build a landing page. Now you're going to watch me build this landing page for this made up guide that we're going to give away for free. And we'll explain more about that in a moment. But if you don't know what a landing page is, think of it as like a page where you entice people to take a specific action. So you're not setting up the site or the page for browsing and for people to go to your blog and then to the homepage. Instead, you're setting it up so somebody takes action. This could be to download a free guide, to join your email list, to buy something from you, to even things like follow you on social media. So a landing page is specifically designed with one goal in mind. Now, we're on the card website because this is a no-code tool that allows you to build landing pages, forms, one-page websites really easily. Now, if you want to learn more about the technical side of giving away a free guide and, and connecting it to your email marketing service provider, then we have a video for you as well. With that, I'll leave a link in the description. And also, we have more guides on how to use this platform called Card. Now, I wanted to show you this first because this is ChatGPT, and I'm using this to help me come up with ideas for the landing page. And I just asked it to give me a title for a free guide on the best places to travel in the USA. And it came up with one and we're just gonna use it. Exploring America's Hidden Gems, a free guide to the best travel destinations in the USA. And then I said, could you make a picture to go with it? It gave us this. And then I said, just make it a little less saturated and more realistic looking. I think this is great for now. So I'm gonna download this so we can upload it to the landing page in a moment. And then I asked for it to create some text to entice people to opt in. And the first one was a little bit more about feature-based, but a little pro tip here when creating landing pages, like I've asked it here, make it more about the benefits for the reader and make it so they really want to get it. Because what you want to do is to really tap into people, their emotions, their desires, their goals, and say, this is what is going to happen after you have read this guide. You're going to know all the best places to go. You're going to know the hidden gems in the USA. You're going to know how to get there the best time of year, etc. And you'll want to go to these kind of places. So I'm going to take some of this text in a moment and just copy and paste it into the landing page. So going back to this, all I have done with card is just select a landing page, a form actually, and then it showed me this. I want to just uh, show you this in terms of the things you can do with it. And I won't go into this into too much depth, but it's saying you can add elements, you can pre preview any animations, show the different sections, switch to mobile view, um, more actions here as well. But the big thing here is you can drag and drop elements to arrange them. Okay, got it. This is the landing page that we are starting with. So the first thing I'm going to do is just change the title, put it in here. Okay, that's too big at the moment. So what we're going to do is say done, go back to this, and then we can change the style of it here. So we can make it smaller like this. That's probably about right. Um, we can change all the font and those types of things too. I might just do a quick change of font just to show you how to do it. Rowdy's looks pretty good for a, a title. Do not like that at all. So we're going to go back and choose. Let's choose. Let's choose Sora. Okay. We're going to, you can slide this as well to make it less bold, more bold. We have title light like to make it bold. Um, so it's not perfect. It's not exactly what I'd go with, but I think it's something that's pretty good so far. And then in this section here, it's another text. It's like a subheader. And just to change the text, you go into the A here and then just type it in here. There are some things that you can put in here just to make it bold, italic, but you can do that in the styling as well. So I'm just going to put here, um, yes, it's free to download. So done that again. Now, one of the things here is we do want to get a picture in because I think it's important to have a picture of what people are going to get excited about. So what I can do is click here, right? Then click add element. I'm going to put in an image and it's going to put it below that. Um, and then all I'm going to do is upload that image that I downloaded. Okay, so I've put that picture in here and I think that looks really good. It's a kind of a cool picture as well. Um, sign up today, we're going to change this to download for free now. Um, and then just to make that stylized a little bit better. So I've matched it to this now. I'm just going to make this a little bit smaller. Uh, and then what we can do 
after this is then copy and paste in the different things over here in terms of the text and also the submit button. So I'm going to do that now. Okay, what I've done is I've just made this image a little bit bigger here. I've taken out the text below that. And then this is more or less ready to go, except for I think it's really important when it comes to the form is to have a good submit button. And I like to say instead of submit, I like to say, um, yes, send me the guide. Okay, something like that. Now on click, what you can do here, if you're building a different type of landing page where it's like for payment, you can actually require payment through this with card. But at the moment, all we're doing here is having the form, the fields, and then what we need to do is set it up via MailChimp, ActiveCampaign, send a light, mail a light, send Fox, send Grid, whichever one that you use here. Um, and then what you can do then is then put in the API key, the audience ID, um, any tags that you need to have as well. But again, I made a video on how to connect landing pages to different types of email service providers. So that landing page is pretty good. What I would probably do is with the background, just change the color of the background um, and then obviously match the colors to the types of um, the, the types of branding colors that you have on your website. So we'll just go with that for now. What I do to just to change this and make it a little bit better is just fine tune the text a little bit more, make this stand out a little bit more. And then if it's a download a free guide I'd actually take the image and put it into like a, a PDF looking file format or like a book cover format, which you can easily do where there are free templates online that you can just upload images to and it's going to create that for you. But that's how we can use card and also using chat GPT or AI in general in order to generate the images, the text and anything else that you need to go with your landing page and then once this is ready to go you can publish the site here and definitely check out the different plans on card to know if you need a free account or if it's 19 dollars a year at the time of recording so what you can do now is definitely check out the videos on our youtube description and just look for the different playlists that we have learn more about card learn about how to do the technical side of connecting your landing page to your email marketing campaigns and then also go to our website to get our free guide, which is going to help you with no-code tools. It's a guide to go no-code tools in-depth guide. And then check out our website too to see the different courses we have at the moment. Okay, thank you so much for watching. Speak to you soon. Bye for now.